Hey, thanks for stopping by Old Smoke and Steve's. Normally we're cooking up something here at the house, uh, normally on a big green egg, uh, uh, grilling up something, smoking up something, uh, maybe we're sous vide something or uh, air, air frying something. Uh, we like to cook and we like to eat around here, but uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Sand Shark Sports Anchor. Uh, and I did uh, a previous review on the uh, Sand Shark Ultimate XL. Be sure to check that out. This is a great anchor. And uh, if you use this out on a sandbar at the beach, uh, you're going to be the hit. Everybody's going to love it. But anyway, uh, today we're going to be doing a review on the sport anchor here. Uh, this is a lot different uh, from my previous review. Uh, this is plastic. The other one was uh, stainless steel and anodized aluminum. But this is all uh, snapped together here for easy carrying purposes. Uh, you have an auger here that snaps in. And you have a handle that snaps in. Okay. And uh, also, you have this bungee rope. They recommend using a bungee rope. Reason being, it stretches. Okay, it stretches. That way, when the boat's pulling, and moving around, that bungee rope's taking the blunt of the force instead of the anchor. And your anchor's gonna hold up a lot better uh, in that sand. Uh, if you're like me, I like to check out all the reviews before I buy something. Uh, I like to go to different websites and check out different anchors. Uh, but when I ran across this website, uh, sandsharkanchor.com, uh, I liked what I saw. I really did. And uh, I, I started chatting with uh, Dwayne there on the website and uh, told him my situation. Uh, I like to uh, take a 23, 25 foot pontoon boat out to Lido Beach. Okay, and uh, there at Lido, well, you have Siesta Key on one side and Lido Beach on the other side, and out here is the Gulf, okay? And all that Gulf water is rushing in here, slamming against the boats and stuff. Uh, like if you got a, a boat anchored over here at Lido at the beach, which I like to do, all that current and waves and stuff, and then you got boats going by. There's a lot of force on that boat pushing that stern back into the shore and getting it all jacked around. And uh, I've seen a lot of people uh, uh, do damage to their boats, uh, getting help to get their boat pushed out so they can leave. Uh, it creates some problems. So uh, that's why I started looking at uh, some of these anchors. And I saw these uh, auger anchors and uh, got to thinking, I'm thinking an auger anchor would be the best. Uh, because when you screw that in, Screw that down about a foot or so, or whenever it gets too tough to turn. As you screw it in, all that sand's falling that auger, filling that hole. Then behind that sand comes this water rushing in, okay? Like a big suction cup. Kind of like quicksand. That's the way I look at it. And uh, I'm thinking that's gonna work best than some of, the, than, better than some of the others that I saw on the uh, internet. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, take this thing apart here. I don't have too much room here to pull on stuff, so uh, I'm going to back off a little bit. Okay. That's pretty easy. You just got to give it a little yank, like so. And there's one end that's uh, marked attach auger to this piece, okay? Okay, we just go in here like this, push, nice and solid. Pins there to uh, make it secure. Then we're gonna take the next piece, slide that on, nice and secure. Got pins there to take it apart. The 
third piece. Slide that on. Guys, this is just plastic, but it's quality plastic. It's a hard plastic. I think it's gonna do the job we need to do. Now, all, all that's left is the handle, okay? There she is. She's all put together. She's sitting on the floor right now. Uh, I think, uh, if I remember right, it's uh, 48 inches or so, give or take. And uh, what you do is take this uh, bungee rope. You got this clasp on one end. You hook that to one of your cleats on the boat. Then the other end of your uh, bungee rope, you have this loop. Okay, so you just take this loop around this anchor, just let it sit on there, pull that rope tight until you get that boat where you want it, and then you start screwing this anchor in. Okay, uh, I guess you can tie this rope on a little tighter if you want, but I'm thinking if you leave it loose like this, uh, it's going to tend to move with the water, it's not going to be pulling on the anchor. If you have it tight, it's going to be yanking and jerking and everything else. So uh, I suggest uh, leaving it loose and uh, uh, just kind of letting it float around. Not gonna hurt a thing. And it's not gonna come off. So uh, uh, that's it. And uh, got this little uh, float here. Sand shark. Okay, you can tie that onto the rope or the anchor. Uh, to indicate uh, where your rope or anchor is in the water. Uh, I suppose there's a chance that you could have this baby screwed underneath the water a little bit, so you'd want that float sticking up uh, to let people know that uh, there's something there. And uh, whether you get the uh, Ultimate XL, this one, or anything in between, uh, uh, you, you wanna make sure that you clean it after use, because that sand in there tends to set up like concrete. And it wouldn't matter whether you bought a sand shark anchor or uh, any anchor, uh, you'd have to clean it. And so I suggest uh, cleaning it as soon as you get it out of the water. And if you're uh, uh, in salt water, uh, after you get back to some fresh water, hose it off with fresh water and clean it off with fresh water. So uh, what we're gonna do, just had a little show and tell here, but we're actually gonna take it out to Lido Beach where that gulf was coming in and big waves and all that current trying to push that stern into the beach. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see if it will work, okay? Now, uh, they're at the Sand Shark website. They have the Ultimate XL, which was in my previous video and the sports anchor, uh, and a lot of anchors in between. Uh, different uh, styles, different lengths. Uh, so be sure to uh, talk to Dwayne, and, uh, and he can help you out to tell him what you're looking for and what you need, and what you want it to do, and uh, he'll get you going in the right direction. Uh, now if you don't want to chat, with him, uh, the descriptions will also tell you uh, uh, basically what they're used for, uh, what the limits are as far as what size boat and whatnot. So uh, that's about it for the show and tell. So uh, let's get out of here, get on the boat, head out to Lido and give this thing a try. Okay guys, here we are using the uh, Sand Shark Sports Anchor. We're screwing this baby in uh, right on the beach here to hold the uh, bow of the boat. We got our bungee rope here. Tie it onto the cleat. And we put our good friend Bud here to work. How's that screwing in, bud? Hey, bud.
How's that screwing in? Okay. It's pretty good. It sounds pretty good right here. Yeah. I got it? Yeah, there it is. All right. Okay, there she is. Yeah, you can adjust. You can adjust this anywhere you want it to here. I'll get you one. Yeah, I think we're good to go, just like that. All right, looks good. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to screw in this uh, Sand Shark Sport Anchor. Uh, hold this uh, stern in place. Right now the tide's going out and uh, it's wanting to push that stern around uh, into the beach uh, to our right. So we're gonna try this sports anchor out here. Uh, I did a previous video uh, on the uh, Ultimate XL and it worked really well. So we're gonna give this guy a try and uh, see how it does. Looks like that thing's biting pretty good, bud. Yeah. We got uh, one end of the bungee rope tied onto the cleat and stirring the boat. And there's the sand anchor, or the sport anchor. We're gonna let that sit and uh, see if that's gonna hold up. Okay, guys, that Sand Shark uh, Sport Anchor seems to be holding really well. We've been sitting here for uh, two or three hours now, and that anchor's holding just right. Uh, we got the tide going out, pushing one way, and the waves from the boats pushing it the other way. So uh, we get a little bit of slack at times in the rope, and then at other times it's pulling a little bit. But it looks like that uh, sport anchor is holding really well. So as you can see, uh, the stern's coming around towards the uh, sports anchor right now. And uh, here in a minute, it'll go, go around the other way. But that uh, sports anchor seems to be taking care of all of it. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the review. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.